Okay, let's summarize. So diet, make sure you're getting enough proteins and iron-rich foods, whether vegetarian or omnivore. Remember, heme iron from animal food is absorbed much better. Avoid polyphenol-rich drinks during meals, especially teas, coffees, herbal teas, and some juices. Save them for one to two hours away from meals. Just drink water. Cut back on calcium-rich dairy during meals. And if you take a calcium supplement, take it at least two hours away from the meal. Add vitamin C with meals. No need for a high dose. Soak and sprout your legumes before cooking. Go easy on foods high in oxalates and phytates or prep them properly in the case of phytates, you know, soaking, sprouting, and cooking. The supplements. A quality multivitamin from a reliable company can help Make sure they have methylated B vitamins in them. A good probiotic, especially one containing Lactobacillus plantarum, could be worth trying. The plants. Gentian root tincture before meals to boost digestion. See my episode on gentian. Moringa, nettles, and spirulina. Great options taken away from meals. You can make a blend of those three powders if you want and take by the teaspoon in some applesauce, for instance, and you know, once a day, and then you can slowly increase to two or three times a day. If you suspect chronic inflammation, add anti-inflammatory plants away from meals, right? Always much safer. And here you have a large panel of options, turmeric, boswellia, meadowsweet, etc. Plenty of plants are anti-inflammatory. And that's the overall strategy. And yes, I know it's a lot, but I hope I've given you a broad, useful view on how to approach anemia because what we see today is that people are trying just to eat more iron or take the pill. It's not enough. It doesn't work, right? You need a broader strategy.